Hi, I'm Lord JS, and today I want to talk a little bit about flat picking. Yeah, flat picking. If you're using a guitar pick like this with your guitar, you're flat picking already. <laughs> but today I want to go a slightly little bit deeper so you can make the most out of your flat picking. I prefer these picks medium standard shape out of either plastic nylon or cellulose but you gotta find the ones that you like because if you're using picks that you don't like it's not going to work for you <laughs> unfortunately so you need to find the type that you are comfortable with and that you like once you've done that you need to hold it correctly like this between the thumb and index finger like this and then you just do the movement, the strumming across the strings like this. And with a flat pick you can play harder stuff like this. You can also you can also play uh, softer things that are a little bit more dynamic. I'm not showing you that now. <laughs> If you want maximum volume out of your acoustic guitar, you got a flat pick. <laughs> you can of course play fingerstyle too. But if you want, like I said, a maximum volume and full, rich, strong range of notes, you got a flat pick. Also, depending on your style, you need to hold the flat pick harder between your fingers or looser. And angle it a little bit different when you play like this. But that depends on your individual style of music and playing. So. And your style will also influence a little bit to a certain degree what kind of flat pick you need. For example, for jazz stuff, you gotta have one of those larger picks. And some people also prefer stiffer guitar picks like those out of wood or metal even. Which I don't, but some people do. And with a flat pick, you can also, like I said, be heard more clearly because you've got more volume. But there's also things that you can do with a flat pick that finger picking really can't do. So but that's also uh, an advantage of the flat pick. <laughs> yeah. And some people don't like flat picking. Some people don't like finger picking. It is up to you what you want to do. But... I recommend that you at least try to learn some flat picking. Yeah. And don't forget, if you want to get really good at flat picking, you need to practice, of course, <laughs> like everything else that has to do with guitar or any music instrument, really. <laughs> but once you have nailed the technique so to speak you can flat pick 
and make it sound good. Yeah. <laughs> That is flat picking and remember like I said don't forget there's a whole variety of different flat picks to choose from and you have to find the one that you like the most because that's what you're supposed to be using otherwise it's not gonna be as easy as it can be <laughs> so So that's it for this introduction into flat picking. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, whatever it is. <laughs> I don't know at the time of filming this video. So have a nice day, practice your flat picking, and have fun. Viva la revolution and farewell. I'll see you in the next video. See ya. <laughs>